Hey, it's Jake. Uh, Merry Christmas, everyone. I I'm going to be doing something a little bit differently tonight. You know, I know everybody's got their own holiday traditions and their own ways they celebrate Christmas, um, some of which aren't happening this year. I've been to a few Christmas Eve services in my time, but, but none that I remember as well as uh, the last year that my, my grandmother, Carrie, was alive. Um, we always went to her house on uh, Christmas Eve, and, and the last year she was alive, her one request was that everybody went to her church's Christmas Eve service, and uh, it was just an amazing time. It was something that, that I'll never forget, uh, just being there with Grandma Carrie. I just I just loved it. Um, so tonight, uh, I thought, uh, got the, the accordion quarter box here, you know, with the organ sound, I, I figured I'd do a little bit of a Christmas Eve service type thing. And, uh, I hope you enjoy it. Isaiah chapter 9 says, For a child has been born for us, a son given to us, authority rests upon his shoulders, and his name is Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Oh, come, oh, ye faithful, joyful and Triumphant, come, O come into Bethlehem. Come and behold him, born the King of Angels. O come, let us adore him. O come, let us adore him. O come, let us adore him. Shine. This is the light of mine. 
I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Come, let us rejoice again on Christmas Day, on Christmas Day. Come, let us rejoice again on Christmas Day in the morning. All right, so uh, a lot of church services you go to, they'll have a a kid's message, you know, a children's message, just for the, the young people in attendance. And that's kind of where I started with this. But it really, I think it could apply to all of us. But but for the sake of that, kids, everybody, y'all know what this is, right? It's a Christmas, it's a Christmas package. It's a, it's a gift, right? And I mean, anything could be in there, you know, when that's under the Christmas tree. All excited to see what's in this package. But, uh, you know, there could be legos in there or cars you know whatever you're into really but uh you know one thing that we find a lot at christmas time and it's not usually in a package um it's a word joy do you guys know that word joy uh it's in a song it's in a song i like can i sing it to you a little bit Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her king. Let every heart prepare him room. In heaven and nature sing. In heaven and nature sing. In heaven and heaven and nature sing. Oh, man, the, the author of that song felt so good. You know, they were they were... They were happy. I mean, joy, right? That's a that's a good word. That that joy. And I know it's been kind of a a tough year for a lot of folks out there. It's been a, a very different year for a lot of folks out there. But that doesn't stop us from finding joy. And we can find joy in Christmas time, but we can also find joy all around us. So uh, another thing about Christmas: sometimes you make a list, right? Oh, there goes my list. Sometimes you make a list for for Santa, right? Here's Here's what I, I want, you know, under the Christmas tree. And you, and you write the list for Santa. Well, I'd like us all to, to work on a different list this evening. I want you to write a list of, of what's bringing you joy this year. You know, maybe it's your family, your mom and dad. I know for me, uh, my wife and my, my two little twin boys, that, that brings joy to me every time I see them. Or may, maybe it's something that you do that you just love, like you love riding your bike and that brings you joy. For me, I, I love playing the accordion. I get joy when I'm, when I'm playing music. And of course, that's what this, uh, this little program's about tonight is, uh, joy. And, uh, yeah. I hope you make your joy list and, and we're going to move on with the music. The second reading this evening comes from Titus chapter 2, verse 11, and it says just this, the grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation to all. Go take it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere, go tell it on the mountain, that Jesus Christ is born, while shepherds Jesus Christ is born. Soon 
very soon We're going to see the king Soon and very soon We're going to see the king Well, soon and very soon We're going to see the king Hallelujah, hallelujah We're going to see the king No more crying now We're going to see the king No more crying now We're going to see the king And there'll be no more crying now Cause we're going to see the king Hallelujah, hallelujah We're gonna see the king No more dying now We're going to see the king There'll be no more dying now Cause we're going to see the king No more dying now Cause we're going to see the king Hallelujah, hallelujah We're going to see the king Down in a lonely manger Our humble Christ was born And God sent us salvation That blessed Christmas morn so go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. Yes, go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. When I was a kid growing up, on Christmas morning, before we could get into our presents under the tree, before we could look in our stockings, and before we could even eat breakfast, um, the whole family had to gather around and we would read the Christmas story. So tonight, I want to read the Christmas story for you. I got some music to go along with it, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world, and everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. She gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Away in a manger, no crib for a bed. The little Jesus lay down his sweet head. The stars in the sky, they go down his shepherds living out in fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone all around them, and they were sore afraid. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests.
When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off, and they found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told to them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. Hallelujah, the angels sing, itty bitty baby born in Bethlehem. Hallelujah, he was born the king, itty bitty baby born in Bethlehem. A cold winter's night and they were on the road, going to pay their taxes just like they were told. Good citizens, they had no place to stay, he was born in a stable, he's asleep on the hay. Hallelujah, the angels sing, itty bitty baby born in Bethlehem. Hallelujah, he was born the king, itty bitty baby born in Bethlehem. Now shepherds in the hills were awakened from their sleep by a choir of angels from the heavens deep. They went to see the baby on the first Christmas night and they were filled with wonder at the glorious sight. Hallelujah, the angels sing, itty bitty baby born in Bethlehem. Hallelujah, he was born the king, itty bitty baby born in Bethlehem. Hallelujah, itty bitty baby born in Bethlehem. Hallelujah, itty bitty baby, he was born the lamb. Three kings in the east saw a star in the sky. They were wise and so they wondered why. They followed the star to where the baby lie. They gave him their gifts and they passed Herod by. Hallelujah, the angels sing. Itty bitty baby born in Bethlehem. Hallelujah, he was born that king. Itty bitty baby born in Bethlehem. Now power made small is just as good as it gets. Herod and the devil, oh, he make them sweat. The big and the powerful are made to look small. He's the king of kings. He's the Lord of all. Hallelujah, the angels sing. Itty bitty baby born in Bethlehem. Hallelujah, he was born the king. Itty bitty baby born in Bethlehem. Hallelujah, itty bitty baby born in Bethlehem. Hallelujah. Itty bitty baby, he was born the lamb. My friends, the, the story of Christmas is a, is a story of love, that the king of kings would come to earth and uh, he'd show up not in a palace or on a throne, but in a lowly stable. And when the angels appeared, they didn't go and get, get the royalty. They didn't get all the celebrities. They went and found some shepherds. Uh, this baby uh, would go on to live a life just full of love and compassion, and and eventually he would he would give his life for others. When the Bible tells us about Jesus, it tells us about love. And what better lesson for this year, two thousand and twenty, year that has been so different for some of us, so difficult for many of us out there it's it's been full of strife and and heartache and and yes uh suffering and in all of those circumstances the opportunity to show love has been present i i know i haven't always rose to that challenge so as we reflect on the christmas season tonight let us also reflect on love as Jesus said when he was asked about the greatest of all the commandments, he said, love God and love your neighbor as you love yourself. I think it's customary at the, at the Christmas Eve services, you got a, you got a candle, right? So I got my candle. But tonight I'm thinking of this candle like love. And, you know, if it's just me and one little candle, um, maybe I'm not making that much of a difference. But imagine all of us got these candles, right? We'll light up the whole place. We'll light up the whole world. And uh, we're going to shine that love like, uh, like a baby in a manger. Mm -hmm. 
silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright, round yon virgin mother and child, holy infant so tender and mild. Glory stream from heaven afar Heavenly hosts they sing Alleluia Christ the Savior is born Christ the Savior is born Jesus, Lord, at thy birth.